Good day everybody, Cory here with another PHP Runner tutorial and welcome to part 2 on REST API. As always, thank you very much Xline Soft for this fantastic product. We will continue where we left off in part 1 and will create a second and a third resource under the existing endpoint, which was called Music Match REST Endpoint. The second resource will be dependent or a child table under Search Artist, created in part 1. Likewise, the third resource will be a child data under the second resource. I'm not going to demonstrate the setup of the endpoint here as I explained it in part 1. I will leave a link in the description to part 1 in case you would like to refresh your memory on the steps required to create an endpoint. The next resource to create is the albums. I opened up the API documentation, click on artist.album.get. I look at the example and it seems like I will need the artist ID, which I will get from the artist search resource. I copy the example code. Back at PHP Runner, select the endpoint and click on Create REST View. These are the albums, so I name it accordingly. The connection I leave as is, as we have only one endpoint at this stage. Click OK. I paste the resource URL and run the request. Here is the JSON response. The code is 200 and I observe what I would need from this response. Everywhere you see a plus sign indicates available fields for you to use. I want to add status code just to be able to tell if the response was OK, so I click on it to add. A compulsory field in this case would be Album ID and Artist ID. I also add Album Name, the Rating, Release Date and the Artist Name. Precisely like in part 1, the resource is calling the same artist ID every time. So we need to change it with a variable. My fields are ready and I know that the artist ID field will be the identifier for the details. Click on insert variable button. We need to define a detailed key so I click on it and select details.artistID. Again we will have to select the string and replace the ID from the example with it. Now click on back and our album resource is available. I now set up the relationship between the search and the albums by linking the artist ID fields. I will leave the table link properties as is, but we will come back in a moment to make a small change. And you will see why in a moment. Click OK. Click Next twice to select a listing page only and declare Album ID as the key. I need to repeat everything for the album's tracks, so I will add it quickly without saying too much as it is precisely the same process as I just demonstrated. Select the endpoint, right click on it and select Create REST View. It's just another way to do the same thing. Go to albums.tracks.get and copy the sample code. Run the request and select the fields. Status code, track ID, that will be the key. Track name for the user. Let's add a rating. 
and then the album ID that will be the identifier. Again, we need to change the static album ID. Go back and set the relationship. With album track selected, go to Pages and unselect Printer and Export to set Track ID as the key. Click Next. From here, it's really up to you how you would like your application to behave. For both albums and albums tracks, I remove the search and import options. At the page designer, set the status codes to match my table which was just something I wanted in my application. One thing I can recommend is to go to common pages and remove albums and album tracks. Click Next. At the menu builder I also remove albums and album tracks. This is to ensure that the user will start with an artist search. Let's build the project and upload it to observe what we have so far. Let's search for Adele. Select the list of albums. And then the tracks. There is one thing I would like to change with the data relationships. Go to Tables, double click on the Relation arrow and select Show Individual Links. Click OK. Do the same with the other. If you now search for an artist, the child link will say Albums. And in my opinion, this is more user-friendly as the user will have a much better idea what they will get if they click the link. And the same with album tracks. Well, hopefully I succeeded in displaying a parent-child relationship with an REST API. As you can see, it's not difficult at all. Please let me know in the comments. In part 3, I'm going to display the lyrics of a song in a pop-up view page. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Take care. Till next time.